Hi guys, welcome back to problem 423. This problem uh, now begins to take it into 3D coordinates, okay? So what we're going to have to do is make sure that we break down all these moments into their vector components. So we know from this very first one, all right, well, let's do this, the, the easiest one. This one's uh, MZ2. So they kind of already give you, uh, they give you, it's kind of blurry, but they give you a moment in the Z direction, okay? So this this part of the rod, like if we made, if we took all the moments away, and we just let, let it pivot around the origin like this, around this blue dot, if we just spun this around, it would be spinning, um, you know, going around in this direction. So, so if you put your, uh, if you put a pencil down on your desk and you spin it about the, you know, on its on the long way, okay, that should like you know. If, so if this is the desk, right, and you stand a pencil up here, okay. And all you're doing is rotating it, right? That's what this that's how this structure would be rotating about the xy plane. So the xy plane would be the, the surface of the desk. Okay. I hope that kind of makes sense. Okay. So we know that that moment is in the z direction. So that one's kind of easy to do. So let's just let's get rid of the easy ones first. So we know m2. Okay, and then we'll, and we'll do it in Cartesian vectors. So this is 0i, zero 0j, zero okay? And then this looks like it's, if we look at it from looking down from, you know, our eyeballs are here and we look down, okay? This would be spinning in the uh, clockwise direction. So v minus... 250 okay okay also if you curl your fingers around in this direction okay your thumb will be pointing down so it's negative okay now let's take care of of this one over here let's call that one uh, m1 so these are vectors okay m1 so th the reason why they shade why this is shaded, this is just to show us that this this vector component, this 300 pound uh, foot moment in that in the direction that's given, is laid down on the x y axis. Okay, so its moment in the x direction will be this vector right here, and then it's got a moment in this direction. So this plus this equals this total moment over here of one of three hundred. Okay, so let's do that. So let's do, and again, it's a one. So they give you the coordinates one point five and two. So we could scale that up to if we multiply those two sides by by two, then we get a three four five triangle again. So it'd be. This would be a three, and this would be a four, okay? So in the x direction, it's gonna be three fifths times 300 i, okay? And then let's see, so, and let's see which way it's spinning as well, and in the y direction, and I'm not gonna put a negative or positive yet, just because I don't I don't want to figure that out yet. Uh, let's do in the y direction, so it's this side over here. Okay, I want to just roll in blue again. That'll be the four fifth side, so it's gonna be four fifths times three hundred in the j direction. And then zero 
rotation in the k direction by this moment. Okay. And then let's see. So it looks like it's rotating in the uh, clockwise direction again. So if you look at this moment from this direction, like let's say this is your eye and you're looking towards the x axis like this, it looks like it's rotating clockwise. Uh, so it's going to be negative. Okay. And then what else? We have in the y direction. So this component here, okay, which is the same one as right here. Uh, if we look at it, it's if we look at it from you know we put our eyes right here and we look down into the y-axis. This thing would be rotating in a positive k, uh, j. So counterclockwise okay so that takes care of the these two moments all right now we gotta figure out this third one up here and that one's a little tougher because you know this vector ends right here and it's in the th it's in the x y and z direction okay so in order to do that we need to get a unit vector because the unit vector is going to tell us how much of that moment is going to be distributed along the x direction, y direction, and z direction. Okay, so let's do. Uh, we'll call it. Um, let's call this point A and this point B. Okay, and then let's call. We just need to determine R A B. Okay. So that's the distance. That's the distance uh, from A, from the origin, pretty much to point B. All right. So if you're standing on A, you're gonna go. Uh, you're gonna travel. Close your eyes, and someone's gonna give you directions. They're gonna tell you, okay, walk two feet in the negative I direction, which is two feet in the negative I direction. Okay. So negative two I. Then they're going to say, okay, turn 90 degrees and walk two feet in the positive J. So then you do, you do as you're told, 2J. All right. And now they're going to tell you to jump three and a half feet. Hopefully you have some hops. And then you can finally get to point B. 3.5K. Uh, Okay, and then what's the magnitude? Okay, well the magnitude is just square each component, add them up, and take the square root. Notice how I'm not doing negative for that very first one because since you're gonna square it, it won't matter. So you don't have to waste time writing that negative. 2 squared plus 2 squared plus 3.5 squared. Like that. This is 4.5. That's the magnitude of that distance. All right. So now let's take the unit vector. So U A B equals negative 2 or 4.5 I. Plus 2 or 4.5 J and then 3.5 over 4.5 okay okay so this is a direction and this is a notice how this is a vector all right so if we want to find so look at what I'm gonna do here if you want to find uh, the how much of the 450 pound moment, pound foot moment is going in the i, j, and k. So you're gonna have to multiply the magnitude of the moment. Okay, so 450 times the unit vector. So you're multiplying a scalar 
by a, by a vector, and you're going to get back a vector. So you get m3. So this is 450 times 2 divided by 4. So you have minus 200. I. Uh, then 200J. And then 3.5, 3.5 times 450 plus 350. Okay. All right. So let's see if, if we're to lay it down in each component, we have a negative I, okay, negative torque, then if we were to place it here, again, a positive J and up top. Yep, so, okay, the directions are all fine, good. So do a sanity check, so just do the right hand rule, okay, for each one, so like curl your fingers around the direction of this arrow, and then you should find that, you know, points in these directions. All right, finally, now that everything's in vector components, we're just gonna take the resultant moment, which means add up M1, M2, M3, M3. Okay. One thing I do want to make a correction on is noticing. So I noticed that, and I, so if you look at the first uh, moment or the second moment we did, if we erase this, okay, we're going to find that our moment is actually spinning in the opposite direction that I thought it was spinning. I thought it was going, the arrow was here, but it's actually on the other sense. So that means if we project this moment onto the, the x-axis, it's going to be spinning like this, right? So this is going to be positive, and then, but the y-axis is going to be the opposite one. So it will be this is actually negative. I hope uh, I hope you guys understand that. Um, so yeah, so in the other way, if you do this, so if I have it going in this direction, right, then if you if you curl your fingers around that that vector, your thumb will be pointing in the negative x direction. Okay, but if you spin them, if you curl your fingers around the blue arrow. Uh, your thumb will be pointing the x direction once it's projected onto the x axis. Okay, and the same thing will happen for the y. Okay, so now let's finish it off. So now we've made that correction. This here was 180. Okay, so it's 180 minus 20. Uh, sorry, 180 minus 200. So it's minus 20 in the i direction. Then we have 4 times 300 divided by 5. So we have negative 200 here. Uh, uh, negative 240, sorry, plus 200. So that's minus 40. Oh, 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 no, okay, yeah, minus 40J. All right, and then last but not least, we have from m2 we have minus 250 plus zero okay plus 350 the resulting moment is then minus 20i minus 40j plus 100k okay that's your resulting moment okay and that's it I apologize for that earlier mistake. I assumed that, you know, I assumed the wrong direction. Um, but yeah, so I get, next time I won't draw on top of things like that. All right, guys, uh, thanks for sticking with me. I uh, hope this video helps, especially in the projection of the of moments. Treat a moment just like you would treat a force, okay? They're vectors. So whether they're M, F, just call them A. 
to the matter, okay? Just treat them like any other vector and project it onto the X, Y, and Z like we've been doing from the beginning of uh, these videos, all right? And then, yeah, and then just add all vectors. Since vectors can be added together, just add them up and then just get your resultants. All right, guys. Thanks for your time. I hope to see you in the next video. If you haven't, if this is the first time you're looking at these videos, uh, make sure to check out the other ones so you can get a, a more uh, a fundamental background on all these uh, types of problems. All right, guys. Take it easy.